Soon, children here in the Wabash Valley are going to be going on those holiday breaks. Some, though, may need food during that time. And that's where programs like the Clay County Youth Food Delivery Program come in. Lindsay Jackson spoke with those in Brazil today about their fundraising efforts and how they plan their big delivery day from start to finish. She joins us now from the newsroom. Lindsay. That's right, Dana. Those at the Clay County Youth Food Delivery Program tell me it takes $35,000 to pull off their annual Christmas delivery. But getting to that big goal this year hasn't been an easy task. $35,000, that's how much it costs for the Clay County Youth Food Delivery Program to feed 1,000 kids during their holiday breaks. Nicole Fry, Executive Branch Director for the Clay County YMCA, says donations from Centerpoint, Duke Energy, and the community are a really big help. Because they're the, they're our biggest one-time funders for this. And then we always know that there's a gap that we have to fill, right? So it's just reaching out to the community and letting them know what our needs are. And it's just always, it's amazing how many individuals and churches and businesses, local businesses, that step up to help support our efforts. The group placed an order for just around $35,000 to feed kids for Christmas, but now the group only has enough money to last them until January 14th, meaning they'll need more money to feed kids through the remainder of the school year and the summer months. Fry says the rising cost of groceries has also been an issue. Um, so we are having to adjust the counts that we give to the kiddos, maybe making some adjustments in the orders that we have, making sure orders are placed and enough time to get the product in. In addition to planning their fundraising efforts, the group also relies heavily on its volunteers to help pull off the annual Christmas delivery. But the amount of people that we have to organize is insane. So, you know, we have to have people organize the routes where we go take the food to the kids. And, you know, you don't want someone doing that by themselves, so they have to have multiple people with them. And then, of course, the people that load the food onto the vehicles. And it's just a very large group effort. Kikta says during her seven years as a volunteer, the program continues to grow. Um, definitely, it's a life-changing experience. You never really know, um, you know, what some of these kids are going through. And so you never really know how to feel about it until you can see it yourself. So definitely give it a try. Go on a route, deliver with somebody, and you'll see why we all love it. Now this year's Christmas delivery will take place on December 18th. For more information on how you can help the organization, you can visit our website. That's mywabashvalley.com.